So this is Mexico City and as you can see the traffic is crazy. We have about six lanes, it's definitely not central Melbourne. Mexico City has a population of 20 million and you can really see it. There's a lot going on, there's a great street life, and there's vendors, you know, right up into the pavement. It's absolutely fantastic. So the theme of our project here in uh, Mexico City is to find common ground between the two cities of Melbourne and Mexico City. We are currently on Madero and it's likened to uh, Swanson Street. What I think Mexico City is doing really well is that it's opening up its streets to pedestrian access, it's making it safer. So our project is to um, help design and uh, to pedestrianise another street that's similar to Madero. So this is a street that we're doing an intervention project on. Uh, the name is Corriadora. It's, it's much more chaotic, uh, a lot less ordered. I, we could probably compare this to maybe Preston or something like that in Melbourne, where there's a lot more um, life on the street. As you can see with Madero, it has the opportunity to be a lot more richer and increase the amount of people coming through. From first impressions, one of the obvious things to do here is um, just cater for the pedestrian more, so widen the footpaths. What we need is to maybe just put a few little um, different mechanisms in that can improve the street and make it also a bit more sustainable. If they can build on this, have a few more nice restaurants here. I think there's a lot of potential. So the other day we went back to the street um, and conducted a site analysis. So really just speaking with locals, looking at buildings, searching for demographics. And the hope is that with that research, we'll be able to kind of apply that information and really do the best sort of regeneration plan possible. Challenges have been around different ideas. There's so many ideas. People have got so many amazing ideas that to, to nut it down to one or two is really challenging but also having to come up with ideas within a day and then develop them and then deliver them, that's, that's amazing. And so for me, that's been the best part of it. And there's so much knowledge between everyone. We've got international development, architecture, planning, it's insane. And we've got a really good, I guess, social bond. So it's quite easy to be able to throw ideas around all the time. We're trying to squash as much work as, as we can so that we can get out and explore the city and learn even more. So today is our final day of putting everything together and it's a lot of stuff to do and tomorrow is D-Day, so yeah, I'm off. <laughs>so we were able to come up with some great ideas which we shared together at the presentations this morning. Each group came up with a different vision plan but there was a bit of crossover which shows that we're all thinking along the same lines for the future of the street. So a bit relieved. Um, it was a big day yesterday we didn't get a lot of sleep but also quite sad. It's been a great time we've all bonded really well together. Um, the group's really tight now. The advantage of coming here and doing it and you know you have to walk the street you have to get the idea of the context of the street no matter what you do on, on a computer screen, there's nothing like being there. When you're out working with actual professionals, you learn a different way than just academically creating an assignment. So for me, RMIT giving me the opportunity to come here and do that has been one of the things that will stay in my mind forever. Anybody wanting to come to Mexico City should just come. It's more like home than you think, except with better Mexican food. ¡Qué rico!